Fiona's been, I mean, successful for years in Vancouver with her show. The one thing that's made her a good candidate for this issue is some of the changes within her career, um, having to do with her now taking on The Rush as the only host instead of a co-host. And she has a couple other um, interesting projects on the go that she's going to talk about in her interview that kind of bring the story together and uh, just make it a great time for her to be featured. So we chose Whistler's location due to the fact that obviously January, February is kind of the time of year that you end up going up in the snow and the ski hills and the mountains. I love Whistler and we have been here on an epically beautiful day. It couldn't be better. There's a little bit of snow, of course. Uh, the sky is just crystal clear and blue and I feel so zen when I come out to Whistler whether I'm snowboarding or whether I'm coming up here just to chill out. We're so lucky to have Whistler so close to us in Vancouver. I love everything about it to be honest. So I didn't plan a theme although due to the light and uh, some of the outfits that looked really good on her it's almost become a bit angelic. experience of this cover shoot has been absolutely amazing and it's been really fun because of the team that's here today. I think we've all bonded and, and been pretty silly. It's gone very, very smoothly. I think that we brought up enough clothes for 20 photo shoots, so I've been in habit because there's been so many amazing things, but it's been incredible. My favorite was the black gown just because it fit me like a glove. But having something that fit me so perfectly and it just I just felt comfortable and sexy in it, it was that was my favorite piece. The dresses have been beautiful and I think every girl loves to dress up like a princess and uh, stand in the middle of the lake. Why not, right? Yeah. <laughs>